Welcome to the Langardian Bandwidth Quota Module. My name is Darren Delaney. I'm Head of Technical Services here at Netport Technologies. So before we start, let's take a look at a typical network diagram. This network here consists of a network core with a number of servers and switches at the core of the network. We've got some remote sites connected via WAN. We've got an internet connection with a firewall in between. We've got a DMZ. And we've users accessing external sites via this internet connection. We've lots and lots of users on our network here, and they're accessing services such as local file shares and databases, maybe online accessing services such as YouTube, and some YouTube videos can be over 100 megabytes in size. Users may be accessing file sharing sites like RapidShare, and it's not unusual to be downloading files greater than one gigabyte in size from RapidShare now. They may be on social networking sites like Facebook or Picasa. Maybe they're uploading huge volumes of photographs into these social networking sites. And this results in large volumes of traffic on our network. Users in remote sites may be complaining that it's slow to access services. So we might find that there's a lot of data on our WAN connections and it's increasing all the time. So users constantly complaining that the network is slow. So what is the Langardian Bandwidth Quota Manager? Well, it's a quota management system that's out of band. So we're not in line, so we don't interfere in the operation of the network. We don't slow down things any further. It requires no network reconfiguration or gateway devices. It's automated, so it's plug and play. Because we're not in line, it's just a matter of enabling the quota management system, setting up some quotas, and that's it, you're done. Now we're gonna take a look at that shortly in this video. We're gonna actually show the quota manager in operation. It's delivered as a LangGuardian plugin. So if you're an existing LangGuardian customer, you can get the quota manager enabled. And if you're somebody new to Network Technologies, you can go to our website, download the trial version, and the quota manager is enabled by default. It requires no agents or hardware, so you don't need to install anything on clients, anything on servers, and you don't need any specific hardware So let's take a look at our network again. And on our network, we've some users here downloading and uploading large volumes of traffic. So somebody uploading 500 megabytes. Here, somebody has just downloaded 10 terabytes of data. Somebody here has downloaded five terabytes and they've also uploaded another terabyte. Now, if we're a university or campus type network, we have lots and lots of students out there, maybe in residential networks, downloading and uploading huge volumes of data. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take a look at the Langardian Bandwidth Quota Manager in operation. We are now looking at the Network Langardian web interface. So let's go to Modules, and we're going to go to the Bandwidth Quota Module. And the first thing we need to do is we need to select the Configuration option. So by default, there's a single policy group defined, and it's disabled by default. So we're going to create a new policy group. And I'm going to call this one here. I'm going to create a new group called students. And this is our residential network on the, on, within this particular network here. So what we do now do is we define what would be considered fair use within this part of the network. So over the course of a day, we're going to allow the students to upload five gigabytes of data. And over the course of a week, we're going to let them upload 20 gigabytes of data. From a downloading point of view, over the course of a day, we're going to allow them to download 10 gigabytes. And over the week, we give them a pretty generous 50 gigabyte download allowance. We did have alerting options here. So if, if a student or within that group goes, let's choose 90%. So if they hit 90% of their totals here, they can be informed directly. Or we can also send an email to a distribution list. So these are email distribution lists, which can be configured within a LangGuardian. So we can email the security team here that a particular user or number of users have are just about to exceed their quotas. And should they exceed their quotas, we can do something similar. We can inform the user directly, or we can let the security team know about that. So that's the quota defined. I'm going to save that. And the next page here brings us to the Active Directory configuration section. So the left-hand column here shows a number of groups which are defined within our Active Directory. Now, we also support eDirectory, 
And we also support using group membership, supporting departmental field use on a user account. So we have a number of options available here. I'm listing a number of groups which have been defined within Active Directory. So the Active Directory plugin for LangGuardian is able to retrieve this information directly from Active Directory. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pick some groups here within Active Directory. So I'm going to pick here the engineering group. I'm going to apply the new students policy to this group. And we can also here pick a second group and also assign that, that to the same policy. So we've now added two groups to this policy. And we click Save. So we now have the student policy group set up. We've added some groups to it from Active Directory. And we're now going to enable that. And that's it done. So the LangGuardian will now monitor all users within those two groups and watch what bandwidth they're using on our network. And should they exceed any quotas, should they exceed the limits, we can get alerting and reporting on that. So let's take a look at the reports. I'm going to click on modules again. I'm going to go to the bandwidth quota module. And I'm going to choose the first report here, which is a status summary. So it's a status of all groups within the network. I'm going to leave it on the option for any group. And I get my report back. So it looks like here we've had two users who have exceeded their quota already. None are about to exceed their quota. We have three users who have not been active on our network. And we have seven users here who, who are using the network, but are below their quotas. So let's take a look at the users who have exceeded our quotas. We just click here and drill down. So we've got two users. We've got Danny and Andrea here. They've exceeded the quota. So let's see what the date. Andrea here has uploaded three gigabytes today. And in the case of Danny, he's downloaded or he's uploaded 63 gigabytes over the course of the week. So let's drill down and find out what's been going on. So we just click on the total and we instantly get access here to a breakdown of what applications Danny has been using. So we see some SSH from web traffic, proxy traffic, do Microsoft sharing, SMTP. And then we have the option here to drill down further and get more information as to what's been going on. So it looks like Danny here has been using megaupload.com. Looks like he's using photos, websites, and a whole range of other non-work related uh, websites. And we could drill down on any user and find out what's been happening. So Andrea here has uploaded a lot of data today. Again, we can drill down. Looks like they're using a lot of traffic through the proxy. And we can drill down further and get more and more information. OK, well, that's a very quick introduction to the LangGuardian bandwidth quota module. If you do not already have a LangGuardian and you want to find out what is happening on your network within one hour, please go to www.netfortechnologies.com where you can download a free trial version of our software today. Or alternatively, you can also email sales at netfortechnologies.com.